Hi, this is Tony at Views from the Man Cave, and today I'm going to be taking a look at a brand new open face helmet from Japanese manufacturer Shoei. Um, I've been looking forward to getting my hands on one of these for quite some time, so let's get on with the review. Right, let's unbox this. So, this is the Shoei JO helmet uh, in rat grey. Uh, so, if we take the cardboard out, you've got the usual owner's manual and bits and bobs in there and a couple of stickers okay so helmet a nice helmet bag and inside we have the helmet first thing you notice about this um, is how light it is it, it is uh, around about a, a kilo mark Nice, plain, simple design, as usual we expect with Showy, some really nice finishing. Uh, minimal branding, you've just got the little Showy sticker on the front here. And by the feel of that, you could actually peel that off if you wanted to. There's no other branding on the helmet. Turning to the interior, you get a usual high quality interior from Showy. Um, this is all uh, removable. And what I do like about it is this section at the front here by the goggles is finished in new buck. Uh, so this is so that it doesn't uh, reflect or, or, or show up in the inside of the visor when you're riding it and the sun is shining. Oh, the inside has um, cheek pads here which are removable, they're a straightforward pop in and out um, and you can get different sizes of those so the standard helmet comes with a 35 millimeter pad in there. You can go up to a 39 millimeter or down to a 31 to help adjust your fit. Um, I am a size large generally in the helmets. This helmet was a great fit, but I found that by actually putting the 39 millimeter cheek pads in, it just gave it a, a, a much snugger fit on the face for me. It's got a, a actually a very nice shape to it. So there's this kind of ducktail back, uh, which is which is very nice. Uh, but the profile of the helmet as well, it, it starts off relatively high. It sits close to your head, but then it scoops away a little bit at the back. It's hard to see in this. I'll probably put it as a comparison next to something like the Bell Custom 500. Um, as usual. Double D-ring fastening, um, still the most efficient and easiest and best way to fasten a helmet in my opinion. Obviously one of the key features of this helmet is the built-in visor uh, that just pops down there. Um, it's a nice big visor, the standard visor is clear, uh, you can buy alternative visors to fit, they do a dark smoke version and one which is called HD Yellow. Um, the interesting thing about this, obviously this is not the first helmet, uh, open face helmet to come with a pull down visor on it. Now invariably people's noses are not in the middle of their face. Um, so if you find that you push it all the way down and this is resting on your nose or is resting awkwardly on your nose, you can just adjust the two clips at the sides here in three different positions and that will give you an option to have the visor not coming down quite as far. So that's a really nice touch. Also the shape of the visor is quite important. Obviously you have the little bits that stick out here so you can grab it and pull it up and down very easily. Um, but one thing if you can't, it's very difficult to see, but at the profile of the helmet you have uh, the bottom of the goggle just kicks it out a little bit. So that's been designed to try to prevent um, the rolling in of wind turbulence. So that's when you get the wind kind of hits the screen and then you get the buffet that pulls over and it drags a lot of crap up under the visor. Um, so it lifts a lot of grit and stuff. This has been designed to do this. I've ridden this at speeds, at motorway speeds, and uh, I've had no problem with it at all. And that's without wearing sunglasses underneath. <laughs> Uh, the construction of the helmet uses Shoei's AIM shell, uh, which is the Advanced Integrated Matrix. So this is a, a multi-layer matrix of fiberglass and other natural fibers. Uh, so this is the same material that goes into the construction of their full-face helmets and many of their high-end race helmets. The, sh the helmet itself comes in three shell sizes, which is great. Often 
um, open face helmets just come in one single shell size um, and you've still got that big problem it needs to be big enough to accommodate an extra large head if you've got a smaller or a medium head uh, you've got the same shell size with more padding in so some of the helmets you see with a really big thick bits of padding at the side here um, and they don't look great on the on on the head i've worn this on a, a number of rides um, and i find it incredibly comfortable it's a pretty quiet helmet as well for an open face all in all i think it's a it's a fantastic helmet I, it's become my new favorite open face helmet um, and i can see this getting a lot of use over the summer As ever, there'll be a couple of clickable links at the end of the video. One which will take you through to show you more details and some of the technical specifications of the helmet that I've not been able to cover in this. The other one will be a link through to the Moto Legends shop should you wish to make a purchase or just look at some more details on their site. Thanks again for watching. If you like these, click subscribe or keep the content coming through. And until next time, look after yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye.